Hey, 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 Cancer. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Wednesday, May 6th to the 7th Intuitive Love Tarot read. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not res with, uh, resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Cancer, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you are interested in a personal reading with me, the information is in the description box below. All right, Cancer, let's see what's going on for you here. And I'm going to, I can't talk today. I'm going to get a message channeled from Spirit just for you in one moment. This is your card, Cancer, at the bottom of the deck, the chariot. You have the three of swords, the two of swords. The Wheel of Fortune, the Empress, and the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. All right, let's get a message from Spirit and see what they have to say to you. I'm hearing tell yourself why you're holding yourself back. They're wanting you to be aware of the reasons why you're holding yourself back. From what? From your passion, from moving forward. It's like there's something stopping you. There's something mm, making you pause. This could be possibly someone. And they're saying, okay, for a lot of you, this is someone <clears throat> who it's almost like, see, this is why you don't tell anybody about your manifestations, right? Before you start manifesting, because people can talk you out of it. People can make you, um, well, not make you, just put things in your head that don't belong there so that you begin to second guess yourself right spirit saying trust yourself more than anybody else okay yeah see it, this is you wanting to move forward in a balanced way but it's like oh well i don't know um am i balanced enough to move forward uh, should I move forward right now? Should I wait? You're questioning yourself and spirit saying, don't question yourself um, because you do have an opportunity here and luck is on your side. Perhaps you think you can't move forward because of a healing aspect, right? See, there's something that you're not seeing. There's something that you're not seeing. It's right below the three of swords here with the two of swords. This is like being stuck, being at a stalemate, not being able to make a decision. When you're the freaking Empress, man, this is Taurus and Libra energy. You may have this in your chart, but it's like you're, this wants to burst out of you. It's like, I feel like you're the queen of pentacles ready to burst into this Empress mode, right? You've got the Ace of Pentacles across from the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune is ruled by Jupiter, as we know. And Jupiter is in Capricorn right now. And what house is Capricorn in, Cancer, right now? Yes, it is in your seventh house of relationships and marriage. So if there is somebody that has come along and you're questioning whether or not to move forward with said person, the answer is yes. You must, Spirit is saying, you must. Don't question yourself. Don't think that you haven't healed enough because that's not true. You just keep talking yourself out of it. This is there. This is inside of you. Let this Empress emerge from you. Tell me about this Three of Swords, please, for Cancer. Six of Cups. Yeah, this could have been from a past life soulmate. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Mm -mm. 
nope this person that's coming into your life or uh, my guess is is in your vicinity right now and has you questioning whether or not to move forward this is that person this person is a soulmate from a past life and it's on top of the three of swords because you're stopping yourself from in really truly embracing this energy somebody's making you question it and it's somebody close to you so be aware it's i almost feel like they're trying to sabotage it for one reason or another i don't know why they would but i wouldn't be surprised if the seven of swords didn't come out in relation to this other person tell me about this two of swords seven of wands yeah it's like all of a sudden you become defensive like okay um almost like paranoid Stop listening to whoever you're listening to. Stop talking to whoever you're talking to about, about really anything that you want to manifest. This, this goes for a love relationship. This goes for business, anything. Oof. Tell me more about this stalemate. This two of swords, why? They just said, you don't feel like you deserve this. Somebody is convincing you that you don't deserve it yet. You're not ready for it. That's what I'm hearing. They're telling you, you're not ready for it yet. You need to take the time to heal. I'm hearing, I'm hearing it's like, oh my gosh, cancer. It's, it's like mental manipulation, emotion, but it's, but it's a combination of mental and emotional manipulation making you believe something that just isn't there that just doesn't exist <sighs> really and getting upset when you disagree about their point of view so it's almost like you feel that you have to follow this trajectory this path because you don't want to let this person down oh come on now cancer you know your worth. You have to remind yourself of your worth. Wow. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. See? Mm hmm. This is your opportunity, soulmate or twin flame. This is a soulmate from a past life. Are you going to blow this opportunity, Cancer? Come on now. Queen of Cups, there you are. This is clarifying the Wheel of Fortune. This is a chance for you to love. Clarify the Empress. This is a chance for love. Page of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Look, we have a pair. This could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces who's coming into your life or is already there and is just stepping to you. This person may have already been in your life, been in your vicinity and is just stepping to you um, and letting you know that they are interested. They may message you. But again, it's like, yeah. And it, two of pentacles, again, stop. I can't stress this enough because they keep saying, stop. Stop talking to somebody about getting together with this person. Just do it. Don't even tell this person about it. Just don't. Don't. They're fucking with your energy and I don't like it. What is your advice for cancer? Star. The star card, because they said you've healed enough. We're always healing, but you've healed enough to go after your wishes, your dreams and make them a reality. Okay. This is a gift from the universe. This is the star card. Truly magical. Stop the chaos in your mind. Stop the struggle. Stop fighting with other people about your own life and walk away from them. Walk away from them people that no longer serve you okay because it's it's impeding on your manifestation of this love advice more advice when dealing with this other individual okay they've got ulterior motives this is when dealing with this other individual this is your card cancer pisces but this is what i'm feeling is they're hiding something so they're doing this for a reason there's an ulterior motive for not wanting you to go forward with this individual and i'm not feeling it's like oh they're in love with you and that's why they don't want you to move forward it's just like they don't want to see you happy 
that's sort of cruel. I don't know who this person is, but it's like they're under the guise of somebody who cares about you and they don't have your best interest at heart. So you have to be very careful who you're talking to at this time and who is actually in your vicinity, okay? Reveal nothing to nobody right now. One last card for you, Cancer. Knight of Wands, go forward in the direction that you're being pulled to. Go forward, okay? Move. Move, 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 okay? With passion, towards your passions, towards this person, okay? Go get them. That's all I got to say about that. The bottom of the card, bottom of the deck, we have the card of the hangman. This is being stuck. Get yourself out of this position. You've already looked at things from many points of view, okay? So get yourself out of this position and rise to the Empress status. Rise to who you are. All right, Cancer. I hope that resonated. I hope it made sense. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your needs. The information is in the description box below. Have yourself a wonderful, fantastic day, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.